happy day 10 of Vlogmas. I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. Alright, so it is day 10 of Vlogmas and we are moving on to my Alice in Wonderland collection update video. So I did Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan joined last time because they were both pretty small little collections, but I'm going to be doing them separately so there's a hint for what tomorrow's video is going to be, but also because shorter the videos I have to do each day, the better. Let's get right on into my Alice in Wonderland collection updates. Both Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan are not collections that knowingly go into trying to add a lot to it. It's just if I see something I really like from it, I will add it because they both have very sentimental values to me. But I also met somebody else who absolutely adores Alice in Wonderland during my time down in Disney on the college program. And so anytime I saw something Alice in Wonderland. I kind of thought of her and thought of getting it for her before ever getting it for me but the things I do have now all kind of just remind me of her anyway so. So I have finally an Alice in Wonderland Funko Pop. I never had one before and I'm so happy about it. There's still quite a few that I do want. Alice with the flowers and the March hair but I did get this one and I'm very happy with it. It's the Mad Hatter and he looks amazing. So good. So I got this one for like really really cheap on Amazon. I think he was only like eight bucks at the time. It was one of those weird times where the value on him just went like completely down. Like he was super discounted and I was able to get him at that discounted price. And now he's like back up to like 20 bucks or something. But he looks so cool. I love how giant they made the hat on him. It's amazing. And I love that he's dunking his little saucer in his tea. It's beautiful. I love him in his little coat. And then I have gotten quite a lot of Alice in Wonderland adorables. So let's go with the first one that I ever got. The Mad Hatter. <laughs> um, I love the Mad Hatter so it makes sense. But look at how just cute he is. I love the double spouted teacup he's holding. He's got his tongue out and he just looks so cute. And he's apparently like a really rare one so I'm really happy that I got him. I got him from a birthday present from Skipper Victoria. And then I got this one from my friend Kaylee, who is a fellow Dorables collector and lover. It is a little Alice here with the Drink Me bottle. And I really, really liked this because I wanna get regular size Alice like Funko to put next to her. You can see like the difference. She drank the Drink Me potion, she's small, and then her just being big. It would be amazing if they had a Funko of her with the cakes and it was like a giant one. So then I could have all three. That would be really, really cool. Then I got another Alice Dorable. Didn't plan on trying to get this Alice Dorable, but I got her in a multi-peak and she just looked really, really cute. And I couldn't think about trading her away because she's just so cute. It's just her upside down. And I think that's so cute of her just like going down the rabbit hole and she stands up really well. So I also got this little guy. I didn't plan on getting him either but he looks really really cute. Look at him he's a little caterpillar which also makes sense having him in adorable size and not in Funko Pop size but he just looks so cute. And then these two guys I'm so happy I got. I believe these were also from Kaylee but I'm so happy that I got them because I didn't want them as Funkos. Uh, they do have Funkos of them but I didn't want them because they look exactly the same and I didn't want just two exactly the same Funkos. But these guys I like so much more as adorables because they do have a little bit of a difference. They're pointing at each other. This one has his tongue sticking out. So I am totally okay with having them like this. And also they take up way less room as tiny little adorables. And they look just so, so cute. And there's more personality, I think, on their faces this way. Quite a few little adorables that we've gotten there. Another thing that I got, this was given to me by my sister, I think for like a couple Easter's ago, but I love it. It is my Alice in Wonderland eyeshadow palette. I believe she got this from either Box Lunch or Hot Topic, one of the two. And it is really, really pretty, but I really love the colors in here. They're great. So we have that. Ah, you can see you, but these are just great. So I'm going to show you my favorite one. You can probably tell is this one. Nothing's impossible. It looks amazing on it's like nice and shimmery, but it's like not too pinky. It has like some more brown undertones. So it looks just really, really nice. And I also really like Alice as like, just like a base. Oh dear is really good. Like pinky one. I also really like the 10-6. That's a good brown to have as well. And the March hair 
orange one is like it really pops so i just love this so much i really like the mary ann color i just haven't had a chance to really use that one yet it's just a really pretty color anyway great palette absolutely so good i'm not like a huge makeup person so i don't know if this is actually like even good quality but i can see it show up on my face and i like the colors so i think it's good quality in that sense and now some of the pins so i've gotten five more pins in this little collection and they are so cute i love like just the palette that they show together it's all very colorful so we have this tweedles pin this is a really old school tweedles pin i got in a trade and they're just really really cute i love this one of the march hare pouring some tea i just think he looks really cute in this cartoony style and then we have this one this one's from box lunch it's white rabbit in the terrarium and he has some of the roses are being painted red and he just looks so concerned and i thought this was really really cute probably saw a couple of the other terrarium pins that i got like this and then we have this beautiful family pin i kept going back and forth back and forth on if i wanted to get this one because i really do love this series and i didn't know if i wanted to get this one and i eventually caved and got it and it's so cute and it reminds me so much of the friend I was talking about who loves Alice in Wonderland, Skipper Camilla, and it just looks like her and I just, I miss her. And I also, I love the little butterflies there. They're really, really cute. Bread and butterflies. And then this is another pin that I wanted for such a long time before going down on my Disney college program. And I finally just got the pin because I kept seeing it everywhere. And one day I finally was like, yeah, I'll buy it. Because I love it. All the books, her sleeping on the books, and she has her little cat Dinah there. And that's just, that's me in essence. Sleeping, my cat, and my books. I absolutely love Alice and Wonderland pins. I think they all look just so bright and fun and colorful and imaginative. Another small little thing that has happened is I haven't gotten this since last time. I've always had this Alice in Wonderland at VHS. Beautiful, we love it, I know, but VHSs are a little bit of the past, right? So instead, I have turned it into where I keep all of my Alice in Wonderland pins. Looks a little bare right now because like five of them are over there, but this is where they go, is in my little VHS. Very, very cute. So I just cut out some cardboard, put it in there. It's not like the sturdiest thing. You have to be a little delicate with it because it is a pretty thin cork board that I put in there. They stick in there pretty well. So, and I do have a piece of bubble wrap in there just to keep the pins from not touching each other or scratching on each other. Look how cute it looks. And I'm hoping that I can do this with a few other small pin collections like my Alice in Wonderland one. I don't foresee it being huge, huge, uh, but I do like having it in this nice little case. I would love to do it with like Beauty and the Beast. It might be a little bit too big, but I think it would look nice. Peter Pan especially, I would love to do that with as well. And then I can just have a line of VHSs on a shelf and it's actually my pin collection. I think that'd be fun. But yeah, that's everything for Alice in Wonderland on my collection update. So let me know down in the comments down below what is your favorite Alice in Wonderland character? Probably would be March Hare or Mad Hatter. I know it's a very, you know, basic answer, but they are hilarious and I love them. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, farewell.